Hey, what's up guys? Very happy to be back. I've missed you. Sorry I've been gone. As you guys know, just moved to Mexico recently. If you want to keep up with what me and my wife are doing, feel free to check out our other channel so you guys can follow up on whatever we're doing. But today I wanted to focus on a question that I got the other day. Someone was inquiring about the jewelry in Mexico. Now, I haven't actually had the chance to go into a jewelry shop, look around, talk to the people there, because to be honest, a lot of the jewelry around here in the shops that we have here in Mexico, at least in the areas that I've been in, they've mostly had co more costume type of jewelry. So more vermeil, more, um, you know, plated items and stuff like that. Not sure where in Mexico you guys have been in, but the places that I've been in all throughout Mexico are usually more on the humble side of the scale. So for example, whereas when you walk down the street in New York, you could be wearing a 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, you could be wearing a big yeah, gold watch, you could be wearing whatever you want. You can really be showy in the United States. Over here in Mexico, you don't really find a lot of people being too showy. One of those reasons is because not everybody has money. The next reason is because people are afraid of crime. Now, while a lot of crime is down when compared to the United States, depending on the crime, you have a lot of petty theft in, in Mexico. Most of the time, nobody's going to really be mugging you while you're there. You're more likely to leave your car door open or something like that and find something missing. But I feel as though a lot of people in Mexico, they don't really wear jewelry, at least very showy jewelry, because they might be afraid of getting it robbed, getting it stolen, or something along those lines. Even myself, ever since I've gotten here, you'll notice in my other videos, I'm very rarely wearing my stuff. Now, you guys might be aware that I normally wear a flat curb and a concave curb. That's my everyday stack. That's normally what I'm wearing no matter where I am when I'm in the U.S. Now, once I got here, I started to take that off a lot more. I typically am not wearing it most of the time when I'm here in Mexico. As you guys might have seen from the thumbnail, today I want to talk to you about why silver jewelry is so valuable here in Mexico when compared to gold. The reason why silver jewelry is so valuable, and I'm very grateful that I got this from Eddie over at Harlem Bling before I left the United States, this is called a double curb. Apparently, there's double the amount of links at when compared to a regular curb. It is in a 6.5 millimeter. Check out this width. This width is huge, huge. It is, it is overbearing how beautiful, how thick, how wide this thing is. I absolutely love it. It is gorgeous. Now, why is silver so much more valuable in Mexico than gold? Because you can actually wear it. If you go walking around Mexico wearing big, bold statements like 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, any kind of gold, you are going to catch eyes. You are going to stand out. And you may not really want to stand out. I know when I first came to Mexico, I was wearing all my stuff and I was getting looks at from everybody. Nobody bothered me. Nobody did anything to me. Nobody robbed me. But I realized over time that you kind of want to acclimate to where you are in the world. So if you're in a very humble area, try to stay humble. Silver allows me to shine like, I mean, like diamonds. This is a diamond cut chain. It allows me to shine, but it allows me to shine on a more humble level, let's say. And silver is one of the most shiny pieces of metal out there. This thing is polished to perfection and it is glistening in the sun. So even though it is very showy though, I don't really have to worry too much about it getting robbed. Why? Number one, it's not gold. When people see that gold color, they're going to be like, whoa, look at that. So silver is a lot more, you know, humble. Let's just say humble. It, and, and on top of that, if someone did want to rob me of this, well, it's silver, so I'm not worried too much, right? I'm not, I'm not losing five grand, six grand, however, however much my gold chains are worth. I'm not losing that money. I'm losing a couple of hundred bucks, you know what I mean? So unfortunately, that would happen, but I feel a lot safer wearing silver. So that's why silver is so valuable to me here in Mexico and to anybody else. This video is here to help you. If you want to look more understated but still have a nice 
flash to you, still have a nice vibe to you, silver is the way to go in my personal opinion because you can actually rock silver in a place like Mexico in a, a more humble type of an area without worrying too much about it getting stolen and without worrying about standing out too much. In Mexico, it's a lot more common to see steel jewelry, silver jewelry, and gold-plated jewelry. So even though I can't walk around wearing my moissanite, walk around wearing my gold, walk around wearing any of the stuff that I own, even my wife, she's not wearing her normal wedding ring. She's not wearing that monster of a, uh, a stone of a moissanite because man, that is gonna stand out. You really kinda wanna blend in and so that's what I've been trying to do. Even though I love being showy, I love wearing the stuff that I own and stuff like that, I have to keep it on the shelf, tuck it away for an appropriate time because you really don't want to stand out too much. The areas that we've been in have been in very safe areas, but you just don't really want to stand out too much from the crowd, honestly. That's what I find better. So I don't know where you guys have been in Mexico. Let me know. Drop a comment. Tell me if you guys did the same thing when you guys were in Mexico. Did you go with silver? Were you more understated? Did you take your jewelry off altogether? Sometimes Sometimes we have to make the wise decision and kind of blend in and that's where silver really really shines no pun intended it is great for if you're going into an area that, that you're not really comfortable about it's great if you don't want to worry about losing it getting it robbed or something along those lines because it's a lot less expensive and therefore it actually is more valuable in certain circumstances anyway guys be safe talk soon and I'll catch you all at the next video